This video is to show you how the Nissan Need Power technology works. So check this out. Hey, how are you guys doing? Welcome to this new episode of Hybrid Solution Diagnostics. Now listen up. This is the 5WK transaxle of Nissan ePower. But in order to understand how this works, what do you say if we deep dive? Because one of the things that's happening is, what makes Nissan ePower so special? There's no other choice. In order to find out how does this work, we're gonna have to open it. But in the meantime, this is the input shaft that enters the internal combustion engine crankshaft directly. So once this spin, it's connected directly to the motor generator number six. Number one that goes right here. Now the motor generator number one, you have to remember that it's just a starter and generator, but there's a huge controversy. People think that the internal combustion engine can also drive the vehicle. It doesn't work like that. Nissan ePower is only electric driven vehicle by using a big electric motor that I already showed you in a previous episode. But to understand what happens inside this transmission, there's no other choice. We gotta open it up. So Nissan ePower transmission, here we go. First things first, I'm gonna remove the shift selector. Well, it's actually not shift selector. This is just the parking brake <laughs> electronic motor activator. Let me take it off, give me a second. All right. So as you guys can see, this is actually the park selector. This doesn't do any more than just put the vehicle in park or take away the park pin. But how the park pin works, as I said, you gotta open. There's no other choice. Then the step number two to open this, we have to remove a bunch of 12 millimeters that are over here in order to open up this transmission, which is actually, it's just a transfer case, but that's how it is. These actually are the axles right here, this side and this side. I don't know if you guys can see it, which pretty easy to do the maintenance. Over here, just a 10 millimeter hexagon that you can take it off. And this is how you leak out the transmission fluid. And this is the one to top it up. Don't make it more complicated than that. That's how it is. She uses almost two quarts of uh, asthmatic transmission. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take out these, all these uh, 12 millimeter. So here we go. You can say that she's coming out now. Here we go, there it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, <laughs> a couple of gears came out. <laughs> All right, so we successfully opened the Nissan Empower Transaxle. Let's just check this side. This is the internal combustion engine side. All right, now over here, this is the input shaft that goes to the internal combustion engine which is this one. I have to take out the differential to take it out. And then the one that goes to the motor generator, number one, it is located right here. And here we are. This is literally inside the e-power transaxle. So what do we have here? As you guys can see, motor generator number one goes exactly right here to this pin. So once the motor generator number one it's directly connected, remember, to the internal combustion engine, right? So the internal combustion engine is this over here. So what happens if the internal combustion engine spins? This literally happy. To this counter gear, okay, to change the gear ratio, spins motor generator number one. But then Jose, what about driving the vehicle? Who moves the differential? Well, let's take a quick look. This is the differential, right? That goes the axle, but is there by chance any mechanical connection between motor generator number two, which is exactly, give me a second, this one. This is motor generator number two. Is there even a connection between this and the internal combustion engine? Not. If the vehicle move has nothing to do with the internal combustion engine or motor generator number one, mechanically. This is exactly what makes so special e power transmission because once again, the, the internal combustion engine is only used to power up the motor generator number one to produce electricity. Since that electricity is inverted back to DC and together 
with the high voltage battery that in this case it uses as a big capacitor, both of them are producing a lot of power to send directly to motor generator number two. And finally, look, we can drive the vehicle very easily with no CVT, absolutely no gear ratio, nothing. It's just a direct drive, of course. Let me take off the differential, which is, is the differential where the axle goes this side, this side, which is just, we could call a counter gear that is connected, that this is the one, it's your ring gear, that ones that locks the vehicle in parking through this, okay? And finally, look, motor generator number two, which is just this little pin that goes, let me show you. The only way to find this out is, I have to show you the motor generator. Please consider to subscribe to this channel if you want more videos like this one. Generator number two, this is the one that drives the vehicle. Look, and that should be it. This is the only way. No CVT, no nothing. This is what we call direct drive. Let me take this out again. <laughs> Nissan E-Power is a direct drive transmission. Motor generator number two, like this, counter gear, parking ring gear. Here we go, give me a second. Let me just put it on its position. All right, now look. What if I put, activate this little pin and put it on park? Look, the vehicle didn't move. Now mechanically, this little motor activates the pin and releases the motor generator number two to freely move the vehicle via this differential. There is no filtering, there is no oil pump, nothing. Everything is just by the very movement of the gears in order to lubricate or auto lubricate absolutely all the gears inside the e-power transaxle remember this is the one for motor generator number one as you can see if i spin motor generator number one the only reaction that causes this it's to move the internal combustion engine so let's do a quick overview of the e-power transaxle motor generator number two starts the internal combustion engine then the internal combustion engine fits with mechanical power motor generator number two which is now in this case a generator to produce electricity and together with the high voltage battery which in this case is used as a capacitor both are sending full power to motor generator number two and finally to drive the vehicle with electrical power and the electrical efficiency that you deserve because usually the batteries are not the same size as an electric vehicle, but it has a lot of power to be used as a capacitor together with a generator that is always connected. So Nissan E-Power, is it an electric vehicle with a range extender or an extended range electric vehicle? The answer is no. The Nissan E-Power is a hybrid vehicle because it uses a combination between internal combustion engine, which is mechanical technology, and the motor generator to both produce, in this case, electrical power to fit motor generator number two, finally to drive the vehicle. So yes, whether you like it or not, E-Power technology is a hybrid technology as well. So if you want to learn more, stick around for more tips. Nissan e-power system.